This is Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today, my friend, this will be like a vitamin or a supplement for your heart and mind. And wherever you receive podcasts from, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom? Leave a, leave a rating and a brief written review. It will enable others to find uh, this podcast. Thank you for your support and continue to pass uh, the word along. I'm wondering how many of you have ever heard the term, what gets measured matters. If you even look at the variations of that phrase and try to nail it down as to who is the one who said it, whether it was uh, Tom Peters, whether it just is attributed to a lot of people. The idea of being a, a, a person who will look at things and not just set goals, but will actually use some sort of a ruler or yardstick to, to measure progress. It's, it's one thing to sit down, brainstorm, think through your life, where you want to go, what are the things that you'd like to do. And it's quite another to diligently commit to measuring which is nothing more than evaluating whether you're making progress. The reason it's so important is it is very easy to give lip service to a lot of noble ideas and causes. It is easy to say, I'm going to take control of my health and get better. I'm going to take control of my finances. I'm going to be a better spouse, a better friend, a better a person of faith. I'm going to be a better employer, better employee. I'm going to get ready for the future. I'm going to get a degree from college. You, I mean, the things that you can go for are as different as each one of us uh, listening to this podcast. But everyone can do that, that, although there are some that don't even get that far. But most of us can have a dream or a goal or a vision of something that we want to do. But we kind of stick it in a drawer, forget about it. Life happens, as I like to say, life comes at us in real speed. And oftentimes we have to start taking care of the flurry of activity that is necessary to be attended to. And all of these noble ideas and goals and projects that we had in our minds at least committed to go by the wayside. So I, I want to kind of change a little bit the, the maxim from what gets measured matters to this concept. And I want you to really think this through. What gets measured gets done. This is not just about doing a review, though you'll hear me talk about that in a moment. This is nothing less than holding yourself accountable. The, it, it, it's just the simple act of identifying the key measure. Now, let's stop there for a moment. Pick whatever the goal or idea is that you have in your mind that you really need to work on right now. It's not just enough to hold yourself accountable, and it's not just enough to measure it. You have to sit down and identify what are the key measures that I will know that I'm progressing. For years, one of my problems was I had these goals. Here's what I want to do out there somewhere. And I really wasn't measuring with important key measures that were really having an appreciable difference, making an appreciable difference in helping me to achieve that goal. We will talk about that in a moment, how to work past that and to work on that more diligently and correctly. So the couple of things here are is you have to measure, but you have to identify going in what are the key measures. And review is a major part of that. When you're setting yourself up for a new goal, a new vision of what needs to happen, something you're working on, debt reduction, saving for retirement, your health, uh, regardless. My, my opinion is at least the first few weeks, you need to review your progress daily. Now, it doesn't need to take an hour. 
Oftentimes, if there are things right now today I did before I started this podcast, I kind of was reviewing what has happened so far this week. It took maybe 90 seconds, and some I'm doing really, really well, and a couple others I have to step it up and hustle in the next 48 hours. Because if you don't do it initially, the reason is simple. When you hold yourself accountable daily, it is the part, the building block of creating a new habit. So review initially. I always review weekly. I review monthly and I review quarterly. I don't review everything every day. I do review new things that I'm incorporating into my routine. But a morning and evening routine that I follow is in and of itself has very many review-like components to it. The one thing that is a byproduct of all of this, what what you measure gets done is, when you begin to measure things and measure your progress and measure your activity so that you're not just swinging wildly, but that you're actually measuring things that are moving you toward your desired outcome, I find it exceedingly energizing. It just helps you to see, you know, it may not feel, because when you're starting something, change comes so slowly, and you can go hours, days, weeks, and at times even months without really seeing a lot of tangible evidence that you're making progress. But when you begin to review and you review the steps you have taken, You then take it by faith that I am moving forward, I am making progress, and I think it gives you a sense of energy and the will to go on, and it fights the natural discouragement that comes when progress doesn't happen as quickly as we think it should. I think when you begin to measure and hold yourself accountable for progress, I think it gives you an edge. This is a principle that bleeds over into every area of life. When you and I get better in any one area, it's as if everything else rises a little bit as well. Uh, You can find that in lots of things. If you start taking care of your health and getting better, getting in better shape, you'll find that you have more energy, you're able to work, you're able to concentrate, you're able to focus, you're not as sluggish. So don't get paralyzed by the fact that I can't improve in everything instantaneously and moment by moment. Get better at something and you'll be surprised by one of the byproducts being you really get better in almost everything. Really what we're talking about in that what gets measured gets done is the one pitfall that strikes so many people, lack of execution. You see, there are so many people who think because I have thought about it, because I have written it down, because I have talked about it, that all of that equals action. Now, you have to think, you have to reason your way through things, but anything that needs to happen in your life, you're going to have to take action. You're going to have to execute the plan. You're going to have to take the step and do so. And it's very easy to fool ourselves into thinking, because I've thought through it and thought about it and reflected on it, that that is the same thing as action and progress, and it is not. But by having incorporated into your life a measurement tool, that holds your feet to the fire and causes you to realize, I really am not making any progress until I begin to execute the plan. I already mentioned that built into my morning and evening routines, which I talk about often and I will continue to do so, for they really radically changed my productivity and the, the direction of my life. There, there is built into that a review process. So I don't necessarily have to set aside another time block for reviewing. Uh, a few times I will when I'm working on a long project, a new something new. I, I may for a few days 
incorporate a specific review process, but my morning and evening routines are reviews. Um, I also work in a longer quarterly review. I take a couple of hours for a quarterly review, not only reflecting back on what has happened, but reflecting on what I want to get done in the next quarter. I take maybe 30 to 40 minutes uh, once a month to review the month and to prepare for the new month. I don't take that kind of time daily or, or weekly, but I do take time. And for me, it has worked right into my morning and evening routines. Um, a little while ago, I was trying to do a sprint to do some things. And so I looked at the things that were already a part of my schedule and said, here are the seven things that over the next, for me, they were two weeks that I am committed to. And every Sunday evening, I'll take 10, 15 minutes and review what I have done. One of those is because I am taking up writing is I, I've talked about it. I've thought about it. I have uh, unpublished manuscripts waiting to do something with them. I committed that for the next uh, 14 days, I'm going to write 600 new words a day and publish it on my blog. And by going public and by committing myself to it, because again, it was one of those things where I talked about it and I have written and I do write, but you can't just talk about it, you can't just think about it, you can't just dream about it. You have to say, here's what I'm going to do. And I'm holding my feet to the fire and I won't go to bed any evening if I have not only not only written a minimum of 600 words, but if I have not at the minimum published it on my blog. Because you have to continually train yourself to execute, not just to talk, not just to dream. Dreaming is wonderful but it, it, they're just daydreams until you begin to execute them. A couple of years ago when I realized I really needed to lose weight and to get in better health, that year I really committed to using a bullet journal. I am not using one this year. I'm using uh, Brendan Bouchard's uh, Daily Planners because I, all of my adult life I had grave diffi great difficulty trying to lose weight. I'd go on a diet, I'd fall off the wagon, I'd regain the weight, then some. This was a repeated pattern of my adult life. And then I read somewhere that rather than thinking about, I'm going to lose X amount of weight, why don't you do the things that people have done and people do who have lost weight? So I began to research it by listening to podcasts, looked at some blogs, read a couple of books, and I determined there were, let, let's talk about the health reasons. I committed in the year of 2018, 19, that I would do in a 365 day period, 240 one hour cardio sessions, as well as 100 times that year of meeting with a personal trainer and or doing strength and resistance. I didn't focus on anything else but in my bullet journal, tracking monthly, weekly, quarterly, was I on schedule to do 240 one-hour sessions of cardio and the 100 hours of strength and resistance. By focusing on the habits and checking them off when I accomplished that, I focused not so much on getting healthy, but doing what healthy people do. And just that tweak in my thinking opened up a world for me. So you can focus on the goal, I want to get healthy, but you have to work backward and you have to think, what is it that healthy people do that I'm not doing? And I told you, I'm just doing one right now by writing. I'm forcing myself, whether I feel like it, whether I have writer's block, whether I have a head cold, I'm going to write 600 words a day and publish it for 14 days. I know, and you know, that will then make it a habit. I have written before. I just haven't always done it consistently. This is something you can do in the area of your finances, getting out of debt, what have people, rather than just talking about getting out of debt, research, what have people who have gotten out of debt, what have they done? What are the actions and activities? And then you must track it. If it's doing this daily, then that's what I need to do. And you can break down nearly 
any habit in the world that way. Remember, what gets measured not only matters, what gets measured gets done. What do you need to get done today, leader? You need to start measuring it and then checking it off and holding yourself accountable. You've been listening to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, words on leadership, goal-setting, productivity, and a whole lot more. I trust today this was like a vitamin or a supplement for your mind and heart. And wherever you receive podcasts from, would you please subscribe to Dr. Ron's Words of Wisdom, leave a rating and a brief written review. I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. Remember, my leadership friend, you are doing better than you think you are. You really, really, truly are. And until next time, this is Dr. Ron saying, have a great and blessed day.